Cut the strapping bands, open the four butterfly latches on the top cover of the wooden crate, and remove the cover. Take out the top protective foam and accessory box. Open the four butterfly latches at the bottom of the wooden crate. Remove the protective foam. And lift the frame off the pallet with two people. Four people should lift each corner of the machine carefully to avoid dropping. Place the product on the workbench, ensuring the workbench is stable and sturdy for stable placement of the product. Open the accessory box, take out all accessories, and arrange them neatly on the workbench. Open the working chamber door, sequentially remove the protective foam used inside and place it properly for future maintenance and transportation. Before using the machine, remove the screws at the rear of the side panel. Use an Allen wrench to remove the side panel of the machine. Then remove the transport lock. And reinstall the side panel following the original steps. Connect the vacuum cleaner linkage cable and insert the vacuum cleaner hose of the special dust collector into the dust suction interface of the machine. Take out the network cable and connect it to the specified position. Connecting the computer to the machine, one end to the computer and the other end to the machine. Take out the power cord and connect it to the specified position. Turn on the main power switch, press the start button, and the machine will start successfully. On the computer side, start the CNC software and connect to the machine. Click the release button and remove the main spindle protective rod. After successful connection, the machine will return to zero, and all axes of the machine will return to the initial position. Unboxing and installation are completed. Before the first machining session, long-term machining, abnormal machining, long-term shutdown over two weeks, or significant movement of the machine, automatic calibration is required to ensure machining accuracy. First, find the brush in the accessory box. Use the brush to clean the tool sensor, tool holder surface, spindle front end, and fixture. Take out the calibration disc from the accessory box, ensure the calibration disc's positioning ears face downward and align with the bottom side of the fixture. Align the positioning ears of the calibration disc with the positioning groove and gently push it down into the fixture to make the positioning ears fit snugly into the groove. Next, tighten the three hexagonal socket head bolts into the fixture in sequence to secure the calibration disc. Take out the calibration rod and place it in tool slot 13, ensuring that the calibration piece faces to the right. After completing these steps, click the calibration button in the main function operation area. Then click next to start the automatic calibration process. Wait for the calibration to complete. Finally, remove the calibration disc. Calibration is now complete. Before starting machining, you need to install the material into the working chamber. Click the Material Unloading Position button in the software interface, and the fixture will rotate to an angle suitable for material installation, allowing you to install the material. Take out the material to be machined and mounted onto the fixture, using a wrench to securely fasten it in place. Take out the milling cutter that matches the material from the accessory box and install it into the corresponding tool slot of the machine. For single North Carolina file machining, click the import button on the software interface. In the dialog box that appears, find the path to the pre-processing file, select it, and click the open button to load the restoration North Carolina file into the software. 
confirm that the burr is placed in the appropriate position and that the material is installed. After verifying that the file is uploaded correctly and all information is accurate, click Start. Wait for machining to complete. Machining is now finished.